We're here at CATL's Z Factory, and we're here to find out how to turn this bag of powder, lithium and magnesium and other metals into this. It's not simply a case of pouring it in there. Oh no, it's a very complex process. We're gonna find out right now how they do it. What are you watching this video on right now? Well, chances are it has a battery, and that battery comes from China. Increasingly, they're playing a key role in the electrification of our fleets, our cars, our buses, and our trucks. And there's one company that's world leader. Welcome to CATL, the world's biggest battery manufacturer, for an exclusive behind the scenes look of the factory. If you like the Fully Charged Show, you will love our Everything Electric exhibitions around the world. Next up, Everything Electric Australia. And Everything Electric London. Get your tickets today. We're here in Ningda, a few hours south of Shanghai, at one of CATL's global 13 factories. They have a factory in Germany and a factory in Hungary. Now, CATL batteries are found in over 10 million vehicles worldwide, and they command something like a 37% market share. So it goes without saying that what happens in this factory has a significant impact on our energy transition. But what I want to know is, how do you build a battery? So I'm all suited and booted. We're ready to go into the factory. We're going into the cathode room. We're gonna get the dust blown off me. It's taken us about two years to get to this point. So I'm really, really excited. So let's take you inside the battery factory. Now at this point, the battery is basically split into two sections and there's an anode room and a cathode room. So the cathode is in this room and the anode is in another room and they're mixing all the chemical materials together depending on what battery they're making today. So it's called a slurry. So it could be uh, magnesium, it could be some cobalt, it could be some nickel. It's all being mixed together in these massive tanks behind me. After this, it's gonna go into this really thin paste and that really is the beginning of how you make a battery. But this is the very, very first step and all of the chemicals are being all mixed together in the tanks behind me. This is one of the most exciting parts of the process here. These thin metal sheets, they are less than 0.14 microns thick, about half the width of a human hair. And this is going underneath my feet onto the machine here where they're gonna be coated in the slurry that we saw earlier. And now this machine is gonna to monitor to see if there's any imperfections, because any imperfections in this means there's imperfections in the battery and could cause issues later on. So really important part of the process and we're about to see what this finished product looks like just in a minute. Here in the gigantic headquarters, there's a huge amount going into research and development. In fact, there's over 18,000 people in that department alone, and over 250 of those have doctorate degrees. Now, because of all this research and innovation, a lot of companies want to work with CATL. And in fact, it's easier to list the companies that don't want to work with them than the ones that do. The ones that do include Tesla, VW, GM, Porsche, Kia, Polestar, so almost everyone. This is the birth of a battery. These massive rolls have got the liquid slurry on top already. So this is like the, the chemicals are on here already, ready to make it into the jelly roll battery. Now at this point you'll see that it's being split and the ears have been cut. The ears, those are the anodes and the cathodes which will connect to the outside. Now it's being split in this massive machine, it's moving very, very quickly. And there's something like 2.2 million cells can be made in this factory per day. So there's loads of these machines all the way along here and all the way down here. It's on a vast scale. Now we've seen all these materials getting sliced up and they've been brought into this room, ready to be made into a cell. 
So on this side, I've got aluminium coated in a cathode material. And over here, I have copper covered in an anode material. And what happens next? Unfortunately, we can't show you. It's a massive secret, something that CATL obviously don't want to share with their competitors. But what essentially happens is those big long strips get wrapped around each other like this until it forms this. And this is what they call a jelly roll. And it's very flexible, but this is basically a finished battery cell. You've got your anodes and your cathode ears at the top there, but that is what is sitting in your electric car outside. Incredible technology, it actually almost seems too simple. But there's a lot of processes that went into this, a lot of research. Awesome, just absolutely amazing. So batteries are clearly at the center of everything that CATL does, and they offer them in a range of applications from home energy storage to BEVs to electric motorbikes. But it's the future that's the most exciting because these two are your super cheap and your super dense batteries. This is your sodium battery. This promises cheaper electric cars around the world. This ushers in a new revolution for electric vehicles. This gold one down here is the super dense, 500 watt hours per kilogram. And this will be an aircraft in the future. And this is probably the most exciting innovation here today. Now at this point, the two jelly rolls have been brought together and now they're being capped off with this silver casing. So they'll go on to be heated and treated in the next step. Now this bit is extremely exciting because what I'm going to show you looks like a secret villain's lair. Come with me. Check this out. This is the baking room. So the cells are together now and they need to make sure there's no moisture in the cells. They come through here and essentially get baked before going on to the next stage. Now at this stage, the electrolytes are being put into the batteries. This room smells a little bit. All of the cells are coming through quite quickly to have the electrolytes put inside. There's lots of parts of this process that I don't understand, but then a lot of it seems quite simple at the same time. But incredibly complex machines doing many, many thousands of things per hour. And then at the end, you get this battery. It's mind blowing. One of the biggest areas of growth for CATL is likely to be in the battery energy storage solutions, or BESS, and this is expected to grow by 23% in the next year. If you're lucky enough to have a Tesla Powerwall at home, it more than likely has a CATL cell on the inside. And these cells are finding themselves across the world now. Imogen recently went to the UK to see a pack similar to this, a Tesla Mega Pack, stuffed full of batteries. And this is a model, on this side is the one-to-one -one version. And this is what's the most exciting part about greening our grid. And it's these innovations which are gonna make the most difference in the next few years. Now in this room, I can finally take off some of this because it's on another level of cleanliness. So the batteries have been sealed in the last room and here they're being charged and discharged, thousands of them at the same time. You're lucky at home if you can charge up to eight devices. And here, there's thousands all charging at one time. Now we enter the final stages of production. This is where the cells are being tested. There's two areas. In this area, they're being heat tested to see how they cope under temperature. Then they're stored over here for 12 to 24 hours before being visually inspected by hand in the next room. A very impressive stuff, even more impressive. This is being run by one person. As we all know, NEO was one of the first to really commercialize battery swapping, but CATL have their own version called EVOGO, and it's using something called Choco SEB, and this is one of the batteries, and yes, it does look like a chocolate bar. And like a chocolate bar, when you're really hungry, you eat the whole thing at once, and it's the same concept. You can swap up to three of these into your car at once, and it's done in just one minute. 
It means the charging station can hold 48 of these at one time, it's quicker to charge, it's cheaper, and overall, just a better experience for the user. Now, these are already in production. They're already being used in taxis across China. And it's this kind of thinking which puts CATL in front of some of their competitors. Now, this is the final stage in the manufacturing process before these batteries are shipped off. And what impresses me is CATL's global scale. This is one of 13 battery factories worldwide, and they're bringing cheaper batteries to the masses. Now, if you want to see where these are being deployed in the UK, you can check out Imogen's video over here.